Mike, his oldest brother. Yeah. Attaboy. Oh, Attaboy! First hit of the year, Atta kid. First AB, first hit, put him on the board. Attaboy! Way to go, CB! Let a boy see! Oh, don't do that. Here's the payoff pitch, and that ball is lined into center field. It gets down on two hops. Colette takes it in the glove, but it's a base Runners hit. Runners on base. So Saguspe scores from second, and there's another base hit for Cal Poly. Scoring from third is Stafford. Oh, there's a ball hit to left. No doubt on that one. That is gone. So the deficit is now four. As Viegas round second. Nobody out here in the ninth. Duck fart, we'll take a duck fart. Hey, we'll take a duck fart. Here we go, man. Oh, fuck that. I yellow Come on, carry, carry, carry. That a kid! towards first. York on a hop. Throws a tough one at Casillas. He'll pick it up. The runner's coming home. The throw home is in time and tag is made. How about a 3-6-2 double play to end the inning? Three different Mustangs come up with short hops. 
in one of the plays of the year for the midst Cowboys. of a tough stretch where he's not picked up a hit over his last four games had a similar stretch like this leading into the conference season last year and then caught fire and wound up on the all big west team Viegas sends a laser to deep left center field and goodbye that's a way to bust out of a slump Colin Viegas hits it out his team leading fifth home run of the year and Cal Poly jumps on Blake Soderston in the first it's one nothing Mustangs that was a line shot that got out of here in a hurry One one. The runners take off. Here's the throw to third and out. Colin Viegas throws out Matthew Miura, and there are two away. A double steal attempt is thwarted by Colin Viegas, and that tag from Ryan Fenn just in time. Two one pitch roll towards the left side, backhanded by Donahue, and it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Viegas will reach. Uh, Kiwanis. There's a knock. Got the ball up in the air. Yeah, Viegas is two for two. Viegas knew what to do with it. He's cleanup hitter Colin Viegas. Two for two in this game. Singled and scored his last time up in the fourth. Viegas through the left side. He's got three hits. hit right field. Viegas is four for four. Oh, one. And Viegas lines this into right past the diving attempts. One run will score. They'll send York around third. Here's the play at the plates on a hop. And York is thrown out. Excellent relay from the UC Irvine. Free one here, kid. Yeah! At the Mustangs out in order in the first inning. Green. The 2-0, no. Viegas, hard hit, ground ball, base hit. Okay, their final stops of their collegiate careers. Transferring from other homes, Viegas in the meantime, bangs it in the center, and the Mustangs will be within two as Fenn comes around to score. Viegas now with 14 RBIs. Takes the team lead away from him and Joe York. And Cal Poly has gotten two bats. As the first pitch is in high and deep to left, Viegas has left the yard. For the sixth time this year, ambushes the first pitch. The 1-1. One, one. And Viegas knuckles this one into right field for a base hit. You've got a loud home run to left and one that barely escaped the infield. Either way, he's the third Mustang with two hits. Hussie V! Yeah! What can he do? Who's been able to start games?
James has call. It's a high fly ball, deep left center. Viegas underneath it, and he will make the catch. Holding on to it against the wall. a strike for Colin Viegas out of Tustin, California, attended Beckman High School, swung on, skied in the gap in left center field, that's going to go down for a base hit right by the warning track, here comes Viegas going all the way over to second base for a standing double, matchup, here's the payoff, swung on, glove by, and it will not go, it will be going into right center field, a base hit for Viejas, and I'll put... To be shut out here because the ground ball in the infield will be uh, a double play and a run will score. Instead of a ground ball, though, it is a drive into the gap. Colin Viegas able to get off the schneid tonight. He has struck out three times before then. And now a RBI double for our player to watch tonight in Viegas. That one driven in a deep right center on his horses. The center fielder, Ashworth, he's unable to get to it before it reaches the wall. And that's a leadoff double for Colin Viegas. It's a fastball up. Right at the letters. What happened? Colin Viegas puts a charge into one to left. And that's off the wall. Extra bases. The run comes in. We are tied. On the, on the winning side of the ledger. Oh, look out. Ready with the 2-1 as Viegas lifts one over a leaping third baseman in Melhoff, and that will reach the wall. Double number six, RBI number 18 for Viegas, and there's that. Dancing over there at second, Peck takes third. The throw is in time, the tag is made. And with that, and now off with the pitch, goes Basir, and he is thrown out. Viegas, his second caught stealing of the season. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. And in the opener of that series, as he swings and hits a deep drive, left center field, way back there, and it one hops the wall. Viegas will cruise into second with a leadoff double. Get out of here, guys. Yeah. Oh, Got it. Pass the just. Pass ball just. Nice. Hey, number two. And the first pitch swinging a fly ball to left center field on the run. James Bell can't get there. He'll hit off the wall for extra bases for Cal Poly. And a leadoff double for Colin Viegas. Well, great swing by Viegas. With two outs in this game. One, two. That is hit. A left field line. That's fair. Make that another two strike hit. That's hit number 10. That's a double, and the second double of the game for Colin Viegas. He won out. That is pulled to left field on the run. James Bell can't get there. That's off the wall, and that will be double number three.
Juan Villegas today. Seen the ball so well. He sees it well there. Casper will back up near the wall, and it's over his head. Off the bottom of the wall. York around third, heading for home. And that's the fourth double of the day as York scores 11 to 4. Another double for Colin Villegas. This time with the RBI behind it. First up, number two, Aaron Casillas. Bring home steals, make it one nothing. Cal Poly. First and third for Stafford as the ball is in the corner. Get in by James Bill. A double for Big Colin. Swing today. Everyone was just getting settled in at four o'clock, resuming the ninth inning from February. And Viegas smashed a home run to left center field. He gets a hold of the first pitch here, delivers what should be a sacrifice fly out to center as it's handled and caught by Colette. And the Mustangs strike first. Two pitch lifted out to shallow right field. It'll drop in front of Lewis. And just like that, Cal Pauly in business. Two on. The Tommy John 0 for 3 is Viegas. And he. Gets into one. This one's deep. Bitzer backing up to the track, to the wall. This one is gone. Colin Villegas ties it up. Eighth home run of the year. Villegas, right-handed hitter. Uh oh Long fly ball to left field. All Kevin Bitzer can do is watch it go. He goes yard yet again. The lead to Cal Poly. Three to two. And the one that Stafford hit was about halfway up the tree. That one was at the top of the tree. So second home run of the series for Villegas. And this one puts his team on top. And he just likes hitting against the Matadors. The umpire is calling the entire crew. Now remember, Kevin Fitzer once lost a home run because of a pitch clock violation. He hit the ball out and they ruled a pitch clock violation. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on. You son of a bitch! That a boy! That a boy! Yeah! Let's go! And Colin Viegas first, and Viegas deep in the air, left field, way back there, goodbye!
He has homered again. One run game in the ninth. Twelfth home run of the year off the bat of Colin Viegas. It's a good inning to be in the midst of a power surge. Viegas has just homered for a fifth time in six games. And that one got out of here in a hurry. A hanging breaking ball. And it just got enough to get over the 12-foot wall. Pitch this one grounded sharply inside the bag at third. Fair ball. Racing it down is Messino down the left field line. And going into second base with a double is Colin Villegas. And stopping in third. 98 through 2000. Shane's going. Pitch is taken. The throw down and they get him. A strong throw by Colin Villegas. Gets Grant Shane. A throw by the catcher. Boy, on his knees making that throw. Well, it looked like he might have got his hand. Let's take a look at this. Tag on the leg. Beautiful. Seven hits total in this game. Whoa. Barreled up to left. Iverson. At least in this area. And the Yegas in the deep left. Will the park hold this one? Iverson. Oh my is goodness. There. <laughs> you got to really crank one in this series to punch one out. Flew out to left in the first. Swings at the first pitch. This one's laced to deep right center. Looking up at the wall, and McKernan has to play it off a of bounce. Viegas will finish what Stafford started. Back to back, two runs. Struggled to score runs this season. They scored in just one of the last three games against UC Davis, but an eight spot in the third. And some. Dominant pitching as Viegas cranks a hanging breaking ball down the left field line and off the wall. Colin Viegas will cruise into second with his 15th double of the season. The sixth extra base hit tonight for the Mustangs. Oh, nice! Go, get on the horse. Get on the horse. Get on that horse, guys. There you go. There you go. Woo! Out of Riverside two to one. Northridge leads Hawaii six to two. Uh, here's a drive to right center, and moving over is Sundstrom, and he makes a tremendous run and catch. Now they'll throw back to first base to try to get Stafford. Stafford had rounded second. He gets back, but Very what hard, a catch. But I think Corey would be the first one to tell you that. He would have liked to have fielded that one, and probably he would tell you he should have fielded it. Uh, 105 off the bat, so that ball was scalded pretty good. Level two play, and that's down the line. That's past third and down the line. This could be trouble. Viegas rounding third. He's going to be waved home by Larry Lee. He will score without a throw. And into second with a double is Casillas, and Cal Poly leads it one to nothing here in the second inning.
There you go. Pitching this year. Full count delivery, and it oh, hits it. it hard past the third baseman, Zach Lou. Here comes Ryan Stafford, and Colin Viegas cashes in the two out error. A run scoring double to put Cal Poly up 1 0 in the first. Oh, looked like a changeup. Cut the barrel out in front. Put a good swing on it. Two out RBIs. Sometimes tough to keep those fair. Yeah, those absolutely. Speed Four two. Yeah. Just getting everybody in the community. Uh oh. Colin Viegas with a deep drive to left field, and this one's not coming back. Let's go. That's a two-run home run for Colin Viegas. Yes, sir, Colin. His team leading 13th big fly of the year. And just like that, the Mustangs close the gap to one. John Smith bringing the bats back to life. There we here. go. <laughs> Have one more win, 21 and 9 in their 30 Big West games. Ball one to Colin Viegas. And Viegas says he loses his bat, flips it to shallow right field. Broke and on it. senior day, gets it to fall in. He broke a metal bat. Gotta love that. Viegas adds another hit to his Cal Poly total. Tell you what, that's a really weird feeling when you give a full swing, bat breaks, and you're left. So, you know, you got good leaders, and he accepted his role early on. Oh, just got there. under that one. You know, he's was on the East Coast this year. Colin Viegas right at Carter White. Oh, he squared it up. Yep. And in what could very well be Viegas' final college at bat, he lines out. Eighth inning is next, 4-2, Cal Poly leads. Touching bases with them faces, all them places I ain't been to in way too long. Cause I've been way too gone. Swinging for the fences, I've been missing where I come from. It's time I hit a home run. I might leave tonight. Cause what I need is waiting on me. Pass that welcome sign. Home run. Running back to those dreams. I've been playing baseball for probably 18 years. I'm 23, so for quite some time now. And since I was little, I always knew that baseball was gonna be like my thing growing up and that I wanted to pursue it going into college. Colin Viegas is making the most of his last season with Cal Poly Baseball to showcase the talents he has been mastering throughout the entirety of his career. This season, Colin has demonstrated what it means to be a true offensive powerhouse. I definitely think I'm more of an offensive player. Uh, hitting in the middle of the lineup, I'm, my goal is to like drive in all the runs. Just putting the work in in the cage, um, you know, and I practice every single day. We try to work to get better as a team and, you know, individually. So I think just all the work I've put in throughout the years is finally starting to pay off and uh, I'm happy I can contribute to the team. Not only have Collins' teammates and opponents noticed his dominance at the plate, but so has coach Logan Denholm, working closely with Colin on and off of the field. Colin is somebody that leads by example, and he does a really outstanding job of that. He, I've never heard Colin really complain about much of anything, and I think that's just, it's great, especially for those younger guys. Like, he understands like his process of what he wants as a hitter, and last year he had a lot of doubles for the team and like helped him a lot that way, and he's just kind of understand, and he's still hitting doubles, but now he's starting to elevate the ball a little bit more, and that's just helping him get a little, the home run total starting to creep up there now a little bit, which is awesome. As Colin's final season is coming to an end, he remains focused on his team, making as many memories with them as he can. Just taking the field with the guys I love the most and uh, just cherishing those moments because I know I don't got too many of them coming up. So just trying to go out here every single day with my friends and just try to finish the year strong. With Mustang News Sports, I'm Jillian Davis.